This presentation is from Tuesday the 8th of July from the APT Education and Technology Conference at the University of Greenwich. Uh, the conference was called the Connected Learning in an Open World Conference and this is a presentation entitled A Photo Call for Digital Media Practice in PR Education and it's essentially about how PR the PR industry's prioritisation of digital skills in the workplace might be better met by higher education using technology. It's based around a, a case study using digital cameras and incorporates many of the conference themes, essentially what it means to be a connected learner, looking around student-led learning, user-generated content, curating and remixing, and the skills and attributes needed for the workplace. So, this is who it's about. Uh, these are a selection of the PR students from the degrees at the University of Greenwich, and it's an example of them connecting. We have a lot of guest speakers. This is one of the most high profile. It was the winner of the Great British Bake Off from 2012, John Waite, who also happens to run his own baking school at Greenwich. And this is a collection of first, second, third years and master's year students uh, on the PR courses who come together in a student-run society called the PR Fraternity. Here they are having their picture taken with a guest speaker. It enables them to raise their profile, connect with people outside to show that they've heard from a guest speaker who's shared some of the client side challenges of working with PR and dealing with some of the challenges of becoming a celebrity. So, what are we covering today? Well, um, we are looking at practitioners having identified that there is a digital skills gap. Um, people entering the profession, also from PR degrees, communication degrees, um, whether it's Colin Byrne, Chief Executive uh, for Europe, the Middle East and Africa of Weber Shamwick, one of the biggest PR agencies in the world, regularly when he comes in to speak um, with our students identifying for example Twitter and video being essential skills that he looks for in students um, whether it's paper by Zerfas um, surveying um, communication managers and chief executives around Europe identifying the importance that attached to digital skills um, by practitioners but at the same time identifying the lack of those skills in recruits to the industry. Also looking though at papers by Carmaccio and Paskin which looks at some of the particular platforms that are available to us and the role that they have to play in developing professional identity uh, and the part that students can use in uh, refining those. Second side is actually what is PR and a lot of people don't understand what PR is and the part that de technology can play in helping our students and those that they come into contact with better understand PR and to help it rectify some of the challenges that it has with reputation. So specifically here we're looking at photography and video and its use in media relations so things like photo calls and their use in social media, the way that audiences are encouraged to get involved and participate in a campaign. Final part of this presentation is looking at the pedagogy that we're covering here, the educational aspects, and what we're looking at here is a particularly experiential piece of learning. Students being encouraged to do, learning through play, and a, a, a particularly transformational approach, which is looking at students taking and using what they're learning and actually taking it to change what happens in the PR profession. And what we're using here is an approach which may actually give birth to a student-run agency in the future. And this builds on papers, particularly um, we've used from Hodges and more traditional pieces of education uh, uh, thinking by Humphreys and Kolb. So let's look at the particular skills that we're talking about here, digital skills in the PR workplace. For those of you not au fait with what PR is, um, and I wouldn't blame you, um, 
The CIPR, the Chartered Institute of Public Relations, defines it as what you do, what you say, and what others say about you. It's reputation. For this project, it's probably one of the better known parts of what PR is about, which is media relations and most specifically photography. If you've ever had to face a bank of uh, cameras like this, you'll know what I'm talking about. Essentially setting up media photo calls. What makes news? What would make a photographer want to turn up and take your picture? And what makes that picture illustrate your story? So we're looking at news values. Um, what um, would make something of interest to a newspaper, a magazine? Uh, what would make it of interest to broadcasters, to, say for TV, and also news online? And what we're arguing here for this project is you can't really know some of these challenges until you actually do it. Um, we've done a lot of this up until now as paper-based exercises and the students of, often don't get motivated and feel the uh, enthusiasm to connect because they're not actually going out there and doing it. And with this particular project we had the equipment, the kit to be able to do this. So an example here, um, Hampton Court Palace had an ice rink at Christmas they wanted to sell tickets they wanted to show off that they had it they want people to visit the ice rink so they put some choristers on the ice rink that might make a cute picture for the daily telegraph how do you make that make everywhere well it's not so bad if some of the choristers fall over on the ice in fact that enabled the picture to make everywhere um, most newspapers carry the picture and most broadcasters thought it was a fantastic story uh, and it made sure that people knew that they could go skating on the ice at Hampton Court rather than some of the uh, m other more well-known places so it made the news um, so it's that kind of thing how do you manage a bit of controversy into your pictures visual narrative is one of the biggest trends then not just for the industry but for academic interest right now too as well as media relations, we're also talking about for social media as well, ideas to get audiences to participate and to share. So the hashtag kind of thing. Here we've got a picture of something that you're not particularly well aware of in the UK. Well, Toilet Day, uh, yes, it does happen, uh, clashes with children in need. It ha actually has a very important issue that it brings to life. Um, it changed the way I think when I came across it. The fact that more people around the world die from diarrhoea than they do from HIV AIDS. And so as part of this, the charities involved in it actually have at 12 o'clock on the particular day in November, the big squat. Um, so people uh, take part, they have their picture taken doing a squat in the most incongruous or the most bizarre or with as many people as possible, have their picture taken, upload it to Twitter, to Facebook, to Pinterest, to Instagram, and it helps bring that story to life. So how do PRs develop ideas that target, target audiences will take and use for themselves? The kind of themes you're looking at here are humour, shock, nostalgia, things that are cute. Um, Often there are other things like transparency, things that enable your company to change the way that people think about them. News values. Um, other things like infographics, so how do you bring information to life? Again, in the past students have been restricted to paper-based classroom case study exercise. What equipment enabled us to do with technology is for them to actually practice it themselves. Um, this particular area was particularly brought to life by a paper by Zerfas, who identified these gaps between particular skills like video, uh, particular social media platforms and the extent to which they were practiced in industry. So the project which we're looking at here today um, was funding from the Greenwich Connect Seed Fund which gave us 10 Nikon Coolpix L320 cameras, uh, one bigger DSLR camera and a laptop with Photoshop editing package on and students across three year groups, that's 29 students at level 4 first year undergraduate, 17 level 5 second year undergraduate students and 19 level 6 third year final year undergraduates together with the PR fraternity student society were given access to use these cameras. Any of you who are of a certain age like me uh, will recognize these logos for Polaroid, for Kodak. Um, Photos capture moments, they tell stories, they enhance creativity. 
we remember when. As soon as you see a picture, it brings us all together. And that's exactly what this project did. The three main themes, it brought engagement. And we'll see these three themes in exactly what we did. The first one, responses to creative briefs. Students were sent off with cameras to bring to life uh, creative briefs which previously were done on paper. The second was professional identities. Connected learners were given an opportunity to take pictures of each other to interpret how they wanted to convey themselves and what they thought about PR and these have been shown off in a shop window on Pinterest so that they can connect with industry. The final part, skills and attributes for the future workplace, whenever we had guest speakers we needed to raise the profile of those, we needed to have a live commentary of those on social media and so particular members of the student society were given responsibility for capturing those pictures to so enhance their professional skills. Now there was some trepidation about this project with the cameras people you know even myself did we need training and we were told by the seed fund you learn through play and we did um some colleagues who had busier workloads who wanted to take part um found that they couldn't learn through play um but for the most part we did and there were maybe some areas where we could have done with some training like photoshop but for the most part we actually did grow through play so the three parts first part was responses to creative briefs an example here project wild thing the national trust had a campaign to encourage more children to play outside so the child uh, the students were given the brief they were sent out for an hour and then they came back with the material and this was probably the part of the project which really took me by surprise the most the amount of animation when students came back into the class and shared their material students who hadn't connected with each other before the quietest members of the group talking with other members yes there were some laughs but it, people were laughing with each other then reflecting on what you could have done with the brief in a different way these are just two examples here but there were many more some really great black and white shots of um, abandoned play equipment in a play area across the road so here we're looking at some uh, ideas for how people could be encouraged to participate through social media but we also did uh, photo call ideas as well so here we've got user generated content engagement and motivation in workshops and people interacting within a cohort and between cohorts the second area is this connected learner idea and development of professional identities students taking photos of each other coming up with a quote for how they wanted to be portrayed and what they thought of PR adding to that a bit of a potted piece of uh, showing off about their work experience or if they're an alumni where they're working now this was uploaded to Pinterest together with some links to maybe a blog to their Twitter page or whatever else they wanted to show off and here you have a collection a shop window to the world but also it enabled people within the degrees to get to know each other better and it also enabled us to reach out to potential recruits from schools and colleges so that they could see just what it meant if you joined the degree where this could lead you so it forced people to reflect about their digital footprint so that was particularly strong here's another example a student here part of her internship working at Channel 5 had a picture taken with Paul Robinson from Neighbours. Finally, Nena, and, and she's there talking about her internship with Jimmy Chu, Jackie Cooper PR, and Target Ovarian Cancer. Final part, skills and attributes for the future workplace. So this is um, showing off that skills are important. Uh, here you've got a picture of Andy Parfit, former controller of BBC Radio 1, was doing some consultancy for Saatchi and Saatchi, came in to do a guest speaker session. We needed to make sure we captured him engaging with students. Here we've got a picture of the PR fraternity visiting Weber Shamwick. Um, this was set up by Layla Mountford, pictured at the centre there. Uh, after the talk we had a picture. Layla went on to win the PRCA Young PR Lions competition, which gave her the right to represent the UK at Cannes this year. And she won the silver award, just being pipped by Japan. So she's effectively the hottest PR in the UK at the moment. So 
these images playing a part in helping us show off the fact that we're networking and we're part she's part of our community here's uh, just an example of the Pinterest board where this user generated content is built, brought together it's curated and it help, helps the students connect Pinterest um, as Mull and Lee argue in, one, in this journal paper really has a motivating factor for our students um, yes it is a great place for them to connect but as, when you find Pinterest Mull and Lee argue that you suddenly find a gateway to all your passions it might be lace making it might be music it might be motorbikes it might be cake baking um, so you suddenly start off in other directions so it means you're much more likely to keep it up and grow your networks secondly on a more functional level it's a really it's free it's cheap storage of photos so it's a really great place uh, and people tend once they found it to keep it up so it's a really motivating dimension to Pinterest the other platform that we've used with all of the pictures that we've uh, accumulated is Twitter um, so here you've got it on the profile across the top um, but whenever we take pictures at our events they're tweeted by the nominated person on the society together with all the other links that we might find that the students feel raises the reputation of the society again students being connected curating uh, and sharing so it's skills for the workplace so just to update the project and where we are now um, students experiencing it's experiential learning it's transformative because students are engaging with the experiences of the professionals who are coming in to talk with them and they are live engaging and, and connecting in real debates using the social media platforms that these pictures are taking part in there's also this idea that what they're actually doing now could go one step further and could become a student-run agency it's that kind of live so it's transformative and they're learning through play there is a substantial level of employer engagement it's enabling them to take the uh, level of self-identity and the digital footprint they currently have and explore it in another dimension we had found up until now that uh, students struggled with the gap the the divide between the self and the professional and actually ex experimenting with their digital footprint online for professional purposes enables them to overcome that divide many of them weren't on Twitter this project has enabled them to think about getting onto it it's very connected it's about skills and employability but not just in a professional in a in a functional sense it's not just a vocational skill it's about a way of operating the next steps well this year was much more about photography skills next year we're going to move on we're going to keep the photography element and we've used that in portfolios assess portfolios but we're going to move on and explore video making skills and editing and soundtracks because employers have told us that video making is as important as photography and we'll also look at a, at a more fulsome evaluation of the project and see what part it might play in a student-run agency a full link to this Prezi will be available on my blog um, where all these journal articles can be found and other links there's also a YouTube link uh, to the podcast that Colin Byrne gave when he delivered a a big picture uh, session to the University of Greenwich last year there's also a selection of videos from an interview that I gave for a presentation that Anthony Coombs and Monica Pazio of Greenwich gave to the LSE and it doesn't just feature me but more importantly it features students uh, Joe Eyre who was the social media um, uh, supremo for the PR fraternity last year um, but also uh, Nara McKenzie who was responsible for taking pictures for the PR fraternity it also has the links there for the Pinterest site for the PR fraternity and for the Twitter site thank you very much for listening to this presentation uh, my name is Paul Simpson and this has been a photo call for digital media practice in PR education <laughs>